Good day everyone, I'm Professor Tolai Man, Consultant Clinical Oncologist from Beacon Hospital and also founder of Lung Cancer Network of Malaysia. I'm here today to share a bit about lung cancer. Lung cancer is caused by mutated cells within the lungs that grow out of control. In normal circumstances, our immune system detects these cells and kills them. However, in cases of lung cancer, unfortunately, these cells uh, escape our immune system and develop into tumours. There are two major types of lung cancer in Malaysia. The first being non-small cell lung cancer, which forms about 70-80% to 80 of lung cancer and small cell lung cancer. In terms of uh, causes of lung cancer, smoking tends to be the major cause of lung cancer still about 80% in about 80% of patients. However, we are seeing an increasing number of uh, people who have never smoked in their lives who develop lung cancer, especially in females. And this accounts for about 10 to 20% of our patients. According to research, smoking 20 cigarettes a day increases the risk of lung cancer by 20 to 25 times compared with non-smokers. And with the increasing use of vaping products, we are also concerned that some of these chemicals may be detrimental to health, but we do not have that uh, long-term follow-up data yet. In terms of symptoms, lung cancer can present as chest pain, a persistent cough, excessive lethargy, shortness of breath, hoarseness of voice, recurrent chest infections that don't get better with antibiotics, a loss of appetite and weight, and coughing up of blood. Lung cancer can be picked up early if such patients undergo a low-dose CT scan to detect the cancers at a very small stage. Following on from that, these patients can potentially be cured by doing uh, surg surgery. In some cases where surgery is not possible, these patients then can be cured by modern radiotherapy techniques. We investigate lung potential lung cancer patients by doing low-dose CT scans as well as sometimes checking uh, their sputum for signs of the lung cancer. But ultimately, we may have to do a biopsy on these tumours either through a CT-guided biopsy externally through the chest or endoscopic, endoscopically through a camera into the lungs. The unfortunate case in Malaysia is that at least three quarters of patients unfortunately present late, either in stage three or stage four. Such patients generally are not suitable for surgery and we have to find alternative ways to treat their cancer for example, radiotherapy, chemotherapy, and newer, more exciting treatments such as targeted therapy and immunotherapy. Radiotherapy is using external beam techniques or EBRT to deliver high doses of X-rays targeted at the tumor cells and, in, and avoiding the normal cells around it. In Beacon Hospital, we offer true beam radiotherapy as well as a Halcyon machine which can deliver fast, precise X-rays to the tumour with a minimum number of sessions. We are also pioneers in the field of SBRT or stereotactic body radiotherapy which delivers very precise and high doses of radiation towards the tumour over five sessions. So the treatment finishes over a week and these results are very, very close to what you can achieve with surgery. Other ways that we may treat lung cancer in this new era is to use immunotherapy, which is actually strengthening one's immune system such that their immune system is now able to detect the cancer cells and kill them. Another form of exciting therapy is targeted therapy, where we do genetic screening of the cancer, find its weak point or Achilles heel, and deliver a precisely targeted drug or genetically targeted drug towards that cancer. If you have concerns that you could be at risk for lung cancer, do talk to your doctor today. At Beacon Hospital, very, very proud to have a complete comprehensive oncology team here consisting of oncologists, hematologists, surgeons, allied health staff to offer you the best multidisciplinary care for your condition ranging from early detection, diagnosis and treatment 
to survivorship and cure. Beacon cares for you. Your health is our priority.